How's it going guys? I feel like every day I see the same arguments and conversations going on about how zombies is too complicated, you have to like Blundell's maps better than Jimmy's maps, or you have to, you know, you gotta pick a favourite game, you can't have multiple things, and it, it's, and it kind of annoys me, but I do understand it. As much as I love Shadows of Evil, it is one of my top maps, but as much as I love it, I do think it was a bit of a poor choice to have that as the default map for Black Ops 3. I think the first maps always need to be a simple map that isn't too complicated, ideally the giant, but they don't do the whole secret map unlocking anymore, it's always paid DLC now. Transit was the same with uh, Nuketown Zombies, but what Transit had was the survival map, it had town, it had bus depot, it had farm, those were easy and simple normal survival maps that you could familiarise yourself with if you were a new player to Zombies, and there are new players to Zombies every day, uh, every new game, but I do understand, you know, they'll come in and Shadows of Evil, if you're not a Zombies veteran, if you don't know much, it can be so overwhelming, so ideally what they should have done with Shadows of Evil is put it as DLC 2. I think it should have been the second DLC. Have the Eisendrak as the default map, the Giant as the paid DLC, and then Detsubu no Shima as DLC 1. Next best thing is survival maps. Uh, I was really shocked that Shadows of Evil didn't actually come with any. As much as people hate Transit, it got those survival maps right. It, if you didn't want to play Transit, you could play those. And Shadows of Evil Morgue City is so ripe for splitting up into smaller maps. Like, I just don't understand why they never did it. So that brings me to the actual topic of the video. If they're not going to do that, at least make a little tutorial level. In case you didn't know, the Zombies app on iOS and Android had a tutorial level and those were just based on Nocturne and Tosin for the World at War app and Kino for the Black Ops 1 app. These taught players what to do and how to do it because the mobile controls and all that, you know, it's all touch screen. So they're even teaching like the zombie veterans like what to do and what the buttons mean and all that. And I think that could work really well if they did something like that for zombies on console. I love this game mode guys, but the potential and things they don't do just, oh my god. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think a tutorial level would fit? I will see you guys later. Cheers.